Well, the, f <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is type in the data in Excel. I did that. And then your sample size is 15. There's 15 of those data points. Okay. If you count them, there's 15. Plus, it tells you right here there's 15. Okay. Mean, <clears throat> you have to use Excel to find the mean formulas. Oh, by the way, the spreadsheet is confidence interval mean, um, whatever chapter that is. I forget, actually. Um, chapter 8. Excel documents margin of error confidence interval for a mean. Okay. All right. So for the mean, you go formulas, more functions, statistical, average, and you highlight the data. Hit OK. For the standard deviation, you do the same thing. You put you standard deviation dot S, S T D E V dot S. And then you hit that. The confidence level, they give you 95%, so 0.95. And there you are. Your lower number is 4.171. 4.171, and your higher number is 8.095, 8.095, okay? And the last part is simple. Anytime you get a problem like this, um, whatever the confidence level, 95% goes here, so, and whatever's left over goes here, okay? So 95 would go here, and then 5% would go here, all right?